Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. R.B. Kusoha, Associate Professor in the Division of uh, Veterinary Clinical Complex at FBSC and A.T. Squad, Jammu, R.S. Pura. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Veterinary Surgery and Radiology Education. And if you are new to channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications. So today we have a very interesting case in a cow which is on right lateral recumbency. So we are going to perform the cesarean section. And the history of this cow that two days back uh, this cow was hit by an uh, automobile and uh, got fracture of the forelimb. This cow is eight months pregnant. So if you see, so there is a diffuse swelling at the ventral abdominal area. The normal contour has changed. If you see, even the eight month pregnancy, udders should be well developed and it should be well demarcated from the ventral abdominal wall. So now you could see, this is basically just like a slab uh, appearance of this ventral And upon palpation, it reveals that part of the fetus, skeleton, is immediately just beneath the skin. And if you see, there is a of the woman also here. So here the part of the fetus, the only structure we could feel here, here probably the head. So by this physical examination and the history, it is clear that so there is a hysterocene, means herniation of the gravid uterus through the ventral abdominal wall and it occupies the just beneath the skin. So if you could see here, so there is a compound fracture of the left side of the metacarpal area this one so this animal is not able to stand from the last uh, two days so condition is not uh, very good so we'll treat this one also but first we are going to remove the fetus so, so we prepare this left side of the paramedian area so we'll give incision from here to here and then remove the fetus so after that then definitely we have to repair the rent means uh, ruptured abdominal wall because the presence of the, this fetus it is occupied in the ventral area so it is very difficult to palpate uh, identify the actual herniation means uh, trauma or rent in the ventral abdominal wall or lateral abdominal wall so when we perform this one then only we could know, able to know the herniated ring or rupture in the abdominal wall so we have performed the cesarean section uh, so by cesarean section uh, we deliver a live fetus uh, so you could see uh, this male calf healthy but the peritoneum and the prepubic tendon was ruptured and uh, the only superficial muscles were intact so the prebibic tendon which was ruptured is very difficult to repair and the muscles were also uh, very weak and it cut through when we apply the suture. So we just whatever the supportive structure and subcutaneous tissue we repair. So this is not actually uh, as per the standard protocol and even the mass will also not work because there is a huge gap. So and the, as far as the fracture is concerned, so, so this fracture was very close to the joint, carpal joint. So we fix this fracture with the uniplanar linear external skeletal fixator. But this fixator is also not so effective as we have incorporated the, the joint. So in such cases normally uh, biplanar is required, but since in bipinner we have to insert the more and more pins so that is why it is very difficult but whatever the facility we have so we have done our best let us see whether this animal is able to survive or not because this is very challenging because this prepubic tendon rupture we have also not able to repair because of the difficulty to bring the edges so the only one good thing that only the life fetus if we have not performed surgery, so probably this there may be chance that this even this fetus will die inside the uterus.